welcome to the vlog. Oh my god. This is like the second time. And the only reason I know that is because I just edited the last vlog you saw. Second time ever that I look semi-appropriate and not like a human landfill when I'm starting the vlog. Anyways, um, so I just finished doing some schoolwork. I finished editing videos. I finished uploading videos, replying to comments. I've been very productive. I still have yet to do a You Now show. Justin's coming over and we're gonna film, so, um, Excuse me, might do the Yuna show then. I'm trying to decide if I want to go out, oh my god, excuse me, yet again, and get lunch, or if I'm going to be responsible with my life. Like, I know tomorrow I already need to go out because I'm taking Buddy to the vet. Oh, that's great lighting. Because he's got some, like, red rashy stuff around his groin and on um, his ears, so we're going to see what that's about. And um, so I could get some food then. But, oh, I might get Indian food then. Oh, that'd be good, yes. But I also really want some soup. Okay, I like how in every other video I'm like, yeah, no, I'm on a budget. Um, I've been budgeting, and uh, today I am on a budget. But, listen, okay, I'm fucking hungry. Look at how good I was. I made a grilled cheese sandwich. This is fresh mozzarella, shredded mozzarella, bacon, and tomatoes. I am a motherfucking chef. Okay. So Justin left, we filmed the podcast. I have now edited the podcast, both the audio and the video, and now it's uploading, not to go live, but you know, to be there. And it's 7.17 and it's nice out now, like nicer out now than it has been all day. So I wanna go for a bike ride maybe. <sighs> Blow out my candle, fire hazard, hey. Morning, so I am getting ready to take Buddy to the vet. So it is, what is it, like 10 now? Gotten up, showered, ate, edited, so yeah. I think I'm gonna take a, a quiz for my class today and then I'll officially be done unit one out of six, yells. So that'll be exciting. And then I can take the unit two practice quiz and then I just have to read unit three and then I can take section two quiz, very exciting. I had this nightmare last night about um, about school and like that I had to retake stats and I hadn't studied at all. Seriously guys, stats is still fucking up my entire life. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Um, I'm just using the Becca under eye brightener, which I really do like. If you have dark circles, this is, it's a nice product. I tend to use this before foundation just so I have to use less concealer. Foundation wise, I've been mixing in two parts of this Clinique two-in-one foundation. So I'll do like two bits on my hand and then half of a pump of the Alme just because the Alme is a little bit more liquidy so it goes a little bit further mix it up and just dot it on my face hey okay so buddy his appointment went well um, I'm heading off to the mall really quick it is noon 30 <laughs> I made myself a little snack there's chickpeas and tomatoes in here and um, yeah, I'm heading off to the mall because I'm dumb. Here's the thing. I bought the Laura Mercier Eyes Eyes on Artist palette or something. I bought it again. So I'm a dummy is what we have come to realize. And I keep buying shit over again that I returned originally because I was like, oh, I don't need it. And this time I determined, well, I don't really like it. So I'm returning it again. But Buddy was super calm. I was so impressed. Like, he was nervous. I mean, don't get me wrong. He was stressing the fuck out. But he was calm enough that he didn't bite anybody, which is impressive for my pop. I'm gonna go to the mall, return the palette, probably get like a Jugo juice or whatever it's called, like a kale and pineapple one or something. And then I'm gonna get some, either a pizza or something from Cafe Sorrentino's in South Common. We are here. We're at the mall. Okay, I'm, am I the only paranoid person? I've locked my keys in my car while it was on before, so that was like years ago. But now I like quadruple check that my keys are in there at all times. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna break my fucking teeth. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm out. I did buy a couple of things. I needed a good strapless bra, and I got one from Adormi, but 
I got it in a size too large, so I went to Victoria's Secret, spent $10 million on a fucking nude strapless bra, so I better actually wear this shit. It's, it looks so ugly on, like I'm not gonna lie. This is not a sexy bra, but it'll serve a purpose for the dresses that I got from G-Stage. And then I went to Street. This is my favorite store of life. Um, okay. I got a sweater that says fries with four guys. I really don't care what it says. It could have said like, praise Hitler. It couldn't have, that's just kidding. But <laughs> it's so soft and comfy. And then I got a sweater, it's so flowy. This was on sale for 15 bucks, so I got that. And I got, I think, a lip gloss from Sephora. I returned that palette again because I'm a fucking asshole and I like to make people's lives hard. I don't know. Everyone at the Sephora that I go to though is so nice all of the time. And I always feel so bad because I, I never go to Sephora, like the actual store, unless I'm returning something. So I must seem like the most like high maintenance bitch. Actually, I'm gonna take this off before I start going because it's a little hot. It's a little hot in here. I must seem like the most high maintenance, like picky ass bitch. And I know that there's people there who watch my videos, so I'm sorry that I seem like such a fucking cunt. <laughs> I watched the Jim Jeffrey special. Hence the usage of the word cunt. Which, P.S., I think is a great word. I just think it sounds like trashy coming out of my mouth. Like, I think you can get away with that. Like, Bracken could say that. Like, if you have a British accent or if you're like Australian, you can totally say the word cunt and it sounds fine. But if you're like Canadian, American, you don't have like a fun, a fun little accent, it sounds harsh as fuck. Now I'm gonna go to Cafe Sorrentino's and I'm gonna get a soup and a sandwich and an iced coffee. I was gonna get a Jugo juice, but then I was also like, you just spent way too much money. Let's break it down, okay? So I have a budget of $105 a week. That's groceries, that's like all spending, everything. I got $60 back from the palette so I'm like, I would have gotten more if I didn't buy that lip gloss. So I got $60 back. I spent $60 on the bra. So that's cut even. I spent $95 <laughs> on those two pieces because those sweaters are fucking expensive. I'm gonna see if I can find like that brand name online a little bit cheaper, but fuck, they're so expensive. I was gonna get two of them and I was like, no, you're not, you're not paying fucking $95 or 80 or $75 or whatever a sweater is. You're not gonna spend two amounts of sweaters. This is not a sentence. Um, but anyways, so I'm, I fucked up my budget for the week already, like an asshole. Um, and really killing, really killing the game is what I'm thinking here. Maybe I should turn on my signal light. Who's to say, you know? Yeah, bitch, me too. I'm going this way as well. Thanks. Why does this keep happening? Stop it. Can you please just like not do what you're doing? That'd be dope. Oh my god. My life is just the hardest. Anyway, so I'm gonna go get some pizza, not pizza, soup sandwich, iced coffee, which is about $15. So I'm $5 over budget. So I'm gonna go on you now and see if I can make it up. And then I'm gonna take it out of next week's spending. So I can't buy anything until Monday and it's Wednesday today. So no more spending of the money. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea to go shopping, but I was like, I'm here. I haven't been here in forever. Like, let's just like do something, go crazy. And then I did and I was like, oh. but I'm very happy with all of my purchases. And I feel like, I don't want to say that the budget is more of a suggestion, but like it kind of is, you know, I'm not going to like beat myself up about it, but like I went on a very, very like low end of like my average income. Cause like it can fluctuate by like, thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars you know sometimes I have just enough to pay my bills sometimes I can go and buy a bunch of crazy fun shit sorry you're just gonna have to stay like that <laughs> so I went on my like just enough to pay the bills and like have a couple of bucks to spend on like groceries and whatnot but in reality this month I can afford a little bit more but I'm just gonna be um, I'm just gonna be trying to spend less money is the point of this whole thing. So I'm doing what I can. I'm doing what I can, okay? It's hard to go from um, spending whatever I want because like I always pay my bills first. I always have money in my savings first, but it's hard to go from that mindset where it's like spend whatever you want because I know I am responsible enough with my money that I can like afford to do that because all of my like actual responsibilities are taken care of always first. 
it's hard to go from having the freedom to buy whatever I want to like, yeah, don't buy anything really. Like you have a very limited budget because like I don't have to. Like it's not like if I spend this money, I'm gonna be broke. Like I have the money. I'm just trying to put more into savings. So I'm just trying to be more responsible. And it's, it's harder than I thought it was. I always have thought that I'm a good saver and I am, but I save a certain amount every month and then the rest is like, mm, well, it's left over, so do what you want with it. And I need to stop doing that. I need to like put a certain amount towards spending and then put the rest towards savings. So I'm working on it. But I am gonna try to eat at home more. So that's gonna be a thing. But I want lunch today, so I am weak. Okay, so here's what I got. I got, this is half of the um, Italian ham and cheese sandwich. I got this minestrone soup and then my aunt had brought over like a whole chicken so I tore some of that up. Got my iced coffee. This sandwich, first of all, I the only thing I need in my life now is a panini press and some freshly baked bread and then I'm just gonna make like amazing sandwiches all the time. Okay, home, eight, so good. And now I'm gonna take a 30 minute quiz, my first unit quiz, and I think there's six. I'm pretty sure. I know I said that earlier, but I wanna just check actually. There's six units and there's 12 overall lessons and I'm done two of them. So I'm gonna do this unit quiz. Tomorrow I'm gonna read lesson three. Hopefully Friday I can do the unit two quiz and that'll be dope. Okay, so I have 30 minutes. I had to download Firefox. So let's see how this goes. I took the practice quiz. I got 80% the first time, 100% the second time. So hopefully it doesn't suck. Okay, that's done. Got 80% and there's one question that hasn't been graded yet. So waiting on that final result, but I thought it was a good effort. So took me like 13 minutes, not to brag, but there were like 10 questions <laughs> and they were multiple choice. And then there was one short answer question. Anyways, who cares? Um, now I'm going to get together my Project Pan stuff and film an update and um, yeah, I'm feeling very productive. It's weird. Okay, so I'm trying to do something new. I'm trying to do nail art and I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like shit. <laughs> it looks so awful. <laughs> I tried so hard. Oh no, I'm gonna try a different way on my other hand and see if that turns out better. Yeah, I can't do nail art. This is depressing. <laughs> and then I did something completely different over here and it looks like a child scribbled on my nails. Like, you sh I'm good at painting my nails. Not good at nail art though. Oh my God, you guys, can we just have a quick conversation about how beautiful my makeup turned out today? And like this happened after I super fucked up on my eyeliner. Like, you know when you just like make it bigger and then bigger and bigger and soon your eyeliner is all the way up to your brow? That's what I did today. So I fixed it and I fucking love it. <sighs> It looks so good. Anyways, I'm filming a uh, day in the life kind of morning routine for a weekend and I'm done about half of the video, so I'm excited. I didn't show me doing this makeup, but if you want a tutorial, I would totally do that. I think it turned out so good. I really like it. Okay, I'm finally gonna tackle these fucking textbooks. I'm going to get them into here until I one day want to actually sell them and make my money back. And like, I just, I don't need this shit, so. I'm gonna go through it. So I know it looks like there's more stuff in here, and there is, because I'm storing all of the pillows I'm not using right now, and I'm just keeping these ones. I take out the other ones when I'm filming just because it's better to have color, but I've got all of the stuff in the boxes there, some boxes that I'll use to ship stuff out, and blankets and an extra curtain, some lighting, and stuff like that. So it just looks a little bit more clean just when we're out here. I've just been bringing my fucking bed pillow over here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna edit something and finish this up. So that's done, going into empties. And oh my God, you guys, this whole thing, just this whole fucking, oh, that, it looks so good. It looks so good. P.S. all this makeup here and uh, also this perfume. If, I don't know if I can ship out perfumes, but I, I was going through it and I was like, you know, it's just not my scent. It's downtown by Calvin Klein. All this stuff is for sale on my Instagram. It's uh, Yanging 19 Cell. And I added some stuff into my fridge, so I'll show you what that looks like. Got all of my drinks. I put in some water bottles, all of my chocolate bars, and uh, I'm just going to, I guess, put this in here. So I'm gonna use this for fruits when I do some cutting up of fruits. 
and this will be my drink stuff, unhealthy snacks, and then I don't know what that'll be because I need food. Okay, so nail art take two. They turn out so much better. I put glitter on them this time. I like it. Even though I fucked up on the thumb. Don't look at the thumb. <laughs> so I just have glitter on this nail and then my ring finger. I think it turned out really cute. Um, ooh, so now I'm going to go fill up my water bottle, cut up a mango because we did go to Costco, and um, probably also cut up a peach. Maybe cut up like some watermelon too. Maybe I'll just cut up a bunch of fruit and bring it upstairs. Hello guys. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to blind you with that highlight. Um, yeah, so I'm trying some of the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks while my hair dries, and this one's nice. It's like the purple one something something but it's a little bit dark for the look that i'm going for today especially with such a bright highlight came down to warm up one of the chocolate muffins we got from costco today yesterday days oh, can you just fucking okay so if ever there's a picture of me with a crazy highlight it's either the becca opal liquid with the becca powder on top or it's the liquid and then it's the um sin eyeshadow from urban decay like both of those give crazy highlights this one's a little more golden the other one's a little bit more uh pinky so i was thinking i might try to venture out today but i'm kind of rethinking because i have all the food i need here to make like what i want i'm gonna make this like salmon spinach salad with some penne noodles i think for lunch it's 12 20 right now so i'm just having a snack um, but yes, yes, I'm gonna wait for my hair to dry. I might add a little more blush. I feel like the highlight's a little bit too much, but I do like it. I think it's pretty. Okay, I just finished the video. It turned out so well. I'm so excited to put it up. Honestly, guys, next week is just gonna be full of videos that I know you're gonna love. Story times, a bunch of stuff. I just needed to kind of get up all of the other videos, and now I'm gonna be a little bit more like quantity over quality. Not quantity over quality over quantity. Oh, and I never told you guys what happened at the vet. Oh, don't you do that with me. You have things in your eyes. Um, all right, let's go outside and we'll talk. Let's go outside. Yeah, you gotta go pee. No, where are you? Where are you going? Do you see this? What are you, what are you doing? This is his, no, I don't have to pee. I just want to cuddle. Um, so it turns out he has a skin infection. So he's having medication for that. He's always had allergies. So she said it just could be like, maybe he itched it a little bit too much and then it got infected. You want to play? You want to play? Come here. He's just sitting there. He's like, I don't want to do anything. I just, you were upstairs and you weren't with me. So like, fix your life. Here is my salad. We've got spinach, blueberries, tomatoes, salmon, and some Caesar dressing. Mainly because we don't really have anything else for dressing. So hopefully that's good. I took the nap of a lifetime. And now I'm going to run into town and get some groceries. I'm just going to get some like yogurt. And I want to get some dip for those crackers. I'm trying to think of what else I'd want. I don't know. What else is like really easy snacking food? Yogurt, dip. I need some more um, rice crackers. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It is 4.30. I just got around to doing my makeup and uh, now I gotta do my hair. Um, <laughs> I slept in, first of all, till 11 o'clock and then I had super healthy breakfast, super healthy lunch, super not healthy snack of lasagna. Now I'm going to Olive Garden with my mom. Um, I did some school stuff, did some laundry, cleaned my bathroom. Alex is coming over later and we're going to watch a movie. So yeah, the first half of this day, first of all, felt very long and second of all, was like semi-productive. I got like 10, 12 pages of school stuff read. I think I'm gonna go get my laundry out now and um, fix up my hair. And if I have time before we go for dinner, I'll finish up this chapter because I only have a couple pages left, but oh, that's the plan. And then uh, after that, Alex is coming over and we're gonna watch a movie and oh, ow. hey. So anyways, I've been loving the makeup that I've been doing. I've been using the Clinique uh, Pansy Pop Blush basically every single day. Um, I've been using either the Bahama Mama Bronzer or this eyeshadow that I have in my um, Z palette. And then this is Tootsie Lip Liner with Child from Hourglass Gloss on top. And what else? I've been using my Anastasia palettes a lot. Anastasia or my Z palette, which has all the shadows I'm trying to hit pan on, but today it was an Anastasia day and I 
fucking love the formulation of her shadows. This is the self-made palette and it's it's so pretty. Look at I'm actually ending a vlog. So I just wanted to say thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up and also the giveaway, the first giveaway for the brush set ends in two days depending on when I put this up but I'll link it down below if you want to enter and uh, then basically every time we get another 5,000 subscribers on my main channel I will do another giveaway so I think we've got like 4,000 to go. Anyways I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you very soon with another Q&A. I will be doing a dirty Q&A. Um, send in questions to Ask FM or to Snapchat. Everything is down below and um, I think that's it. Okay goodbye.